Today is the first day for early voting in Tennessee and WRG, your local election headquarters is talking to voters. A larger than usual number of absentee ballots were reported cast and if today's long lines are any indication, this could be a record. WRG's Mike Suriani visited a couple of polling locations to get a sample of voter reaction. A long line of eager voters at Second Baptist Church in East Memphis Wednesday morning as the first day of early voting gets underway. They're all important, but this one more so because it's such a close race and I think everybody, no matter who it's for, needs to be voting this year. I think it's very important for a democracy to make your feelings heard and make your voice heard. And that's why I'm here. A number of decisions for voters, races for U.S. Senate, state representatives, and chief among them, the presidential race. We've got to have a voice in, in our government. And uh, I'm retired military, so uh, it, means, it means a lot. We need to protect our Constitution. I am really excited to vote in this election. Um, I wasn't excited previously, but with the change of Democratic uh, candidate for president. I'm, I'm very excited to vote for Kamala Harris today. Another issue impacting Memphis voters is the lengthy gun control referendum requiring a yes or no vote on handgun permits, possession and sale of assault rifles and red flag laws. It needs to be on the ballot. There's too much violence. At Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church, where again lines were long, the gun control referendum was a snap. Well, I'm a gun owner, but I'm about safety and I'm about people being um, uh, uh, legally able to have it, legally and mentally, you know, uh, stable. stable, you know, if they're going to have guns. And on this day, no one seemed to mind waiting. First day of early voting, and I love to see these beautiful long lines. For your news leader, Mike Surrey on EWREG News Channel 3. All right, long lines mean people are exercising their right to vote.